Well, everyone, you have made it to day 60. It's our final day of repetitions and routine. We are going to be hitting up a kettlebell set today. If you don't have kettlebells, as always, dumbbells work just fine. So I have a 20 kilogram and a 35 pound. I'm not quite sure what the kilograms are on that one. And I'm going to attempt to use those for our day, um, but I have some lighter ones on the ready. All right, stand at the back of your mat, hinge over the legs, uh, and then plant your hands on your shins. So slide your shoulder blades down, and just reach your chest forward. We're gonna be starting with a walkout push-up in a second. If you don't walk out, if you don't push up, you can go into some cat-cow or bird dogs, whatever feels good for you. You can also just stay here bend one knee and then the other. Remember, you can always pair back. It's about showing up and pushing yourself to the capacity that your body is ready and prepared for. Inhale and bring your arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, pull to one side. Inhale to the middle. Exhale, pull to the other. All right, and then let's get her going. So hinge over those legs. Keeping your hips level, walk yourself forward. Nice wide open fingertips. You can stop in your plank or you can drop into a full push up and then push yourself all the way back. Let's go ahead and stand all the way up. Bring your arms with you. There's one. Exhale over those legs. Lock into the core, tuck your tailbone. There's two. And then all the way up. Feel the feels, what's going on with your back, your hamstrings, core, shoulders, triceps in that push-up. Feel that belly contract to pull you up, trying to keep your hips as still as possible. This is our last one. <clears throat> After the push-up, stay put, find your plank. Open your toes a little wider, stay here, or take one arm and plant it behind your back. Breathe nice and deep. And then switch to the other arm. <clears throat> of course, we need the core, the thighs, and then tuck and pull that elbow back to point towards your toes. Plant back onto your right hand. We're gonna rotate into a side plank. So stack your feet, lift your arm, stay here or lift your top leg, stay here or pull your leg in. And then extend it back, drop onto your left hand, rotate over, Woo. open up, lift if you'd like, and then pull that top leg in if you'd like. Finding stability, finding the core and the legs, the back, gear us up for our swings. Now we're back to the front and we're gonna walk ourselves back one last time for this round. Okay, we have 20 kettlebell swings coming at us. If you would like to uh, start light and kind of gear into the set, go for it. Make sure that your body's ready, your legs, your back, and your core. It's always good to kind of mentally connect, gear in, make sure you're ready to go even from your standing position. You feel solid, supported, core. All right, toes are straight ahead, belly locks. Find that initial swing from the ground floor. Core locks, here we go. One, two, lock those glutes. Snapping your hips, 
in a place. Try not to squat too much, but go for a hinge. Twenty and done. Perfect. Huh. First one felt good. Okay. We're going to go down to the ground, an overhead pull. So we're going to go for 10 reps here, building your core and building your back. Start with your feet just a little wider than your hips. Let your knees drop to the left and then the right and then back to middle. Okay, make sure that you get that natural low back arch pulled out by contracting deep through the core. Keep your glutes relaxed, belly strong. Here we go, reach overhead, arms are pretty straight. Feel that back build. Here's our two, nice and slow and controlled. Three, even if you're holding lighter weight, four. Uh, I'm gonna have you stay with my pace. So try not to move super fast. Five, feel the body under tension. Hollow out those armpits. Last three. Create space between the ears and shoulders. Find that core. Two. Build the muscle. And one. All right, and drop it back. Roll yourself up. All right. From here, we're going to be going into single arm swings. Turn your fingertips back toward the back of the mat. Stretch through those forearms. This is where I struggled last time. So I want to make sure I'm keeping the work in my glutes and my back and in the core. All right, so gear up for that single side swing. 20 each side. You can set it down to switch or uh, switch in there. Four, five, six. Use your back. Eight. Fifteen. You've got to thrust forward with those glutes. Twenty. Switch. Two. work good work all right we're gonna do overhead tricep extensions I'm gonna stay with my 35 you want your elbows to squeeze in tight your neck to stay relaxed and we're only going for 10 Squeeze tight through that core. Go for range. Three, nice full extensions. You got it. Six, seven, keep those wrists strong.
and 10. Definitely a capacity. Okay, one minute, little run in place. Somewhat of an active recovery. up 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> okay. Nice job. Inhale, bring those arms up. Exhale over those legs. Walk yourself out. Big spread open hands. Push up. Remember, you just stop at whatever point you need if the full thing doesn't work for your body. Let your heart rate settle. Keep track of your core. <clears throat> this is not about speed here. It's about control, flexion, Connection, connect mind to muscle, brain to body. At the top of your push up, we're going to hold. <clears throat> Let's see. Take your right hand, set it behind your back. And then switch it up. Other hand. And then plant your left hand. Rotate to the side. Make sure your shoulders are stacked. You can stay or lift, stay or pull. That leg in. Return. Plant your hand. Rotate. <clears throat> Slowing down. Connecting helps gear us up for those swings. Return. Plant, face the ground, lock your belly, and then walk it back. One more time, reach all the way up. Beautiful. Okay, we have our swings, our regular swings. <clears throat> Make sure you're snapping those hips into place. Another way to think about the top of your swing, if you were to do a vertical jump as high as you could jump and contract, feel how your quads contract at the top of your jump, that's what you're going for at the top of your swing. Okay, lock the belly, toes straight ahead, tilt your bell, ready, set, go.
10. Nineteen, twenty. All right. Still feeling good. Here we go. Back to our overhead pull. <clears throat> Take your right foot, cross it on top of your knee, pull in real quick, switch to the other side. Pull it in, and then set your feet on the ground. Find your core, find your back. Here we go. One. Two. Try to keep your glutes relaxed so that that core, that torso and trunk have to do the work to stay flexed and retracted. Five. Six. Eight. Feel that back. Feels so good. Flex in. Ten. All right. Flip it over. Let's stretch those forearms. And we're going to go back into our singles. Bring your fingertips forward, towards you. Palms on the ground. Bend one elbow and the other. And then the other way. <sighs> Gotta watch those forearms. That can become problematic for your elbows. <sighs> Tendonitis in those forearms is no fun. Can creep into golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. So gotta keep watch of it. All right. <clears throat> Get ready for those singles. 20 each side. <sighs> Here we go. One, Ten. Sixteen. Feel that core. Contract through those glutes. 19, 20, two, three, four, sixteen. for that time. Brain keeps going. Back, shoulder blades, core, glutes, back, shoulder blades, core, glutes. All right. I'm actually going to switch and just feel my uh, technique, check in with my technique and form, see if it's any different. My elbow staying in tight. Here we go. Two. Perfect. Yeah, that feels 
way more in control. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Way more triceps, not as much uh, flaring through those elbows. Two down, one to go. Fifteen seconds to go. Three, two, and one. All right. Nice work. Hinge over those legs. Walk it forward. Should feel those triceps. Just got done pushing them. So we're gonna push them a little more. Inhale, all the way. See if you can connect to your postural alignment, your stack. So check your toes. Your heels, knees, ankles. It's definitely tough to do a self-assessment, but the more you just start to check in, the more you'll become aware of how your body kind of likes to compensate or whatever discrepancies you'll find. Sometimes, you have to work with them. This is four. So here we've got our fifth push-up. Push-up hold. Take your right arm, place it behind your back, level off. Find it all. Pelvic floor, trunk, torso, back, switch. <sighs> Palm, suction cups, push into your thumb and first finger. You could also choose to be on your elbow here. Plant your left hand, rotate to the side. Stack it up. Lift if you'd like, bring that leg in. Work on that balance and control. Return, switch. Open up. Kick it out, return back to the mat. Walk yourself back and then up. Okay, last round all the way through. Starting with our regular kettlebell swings. Know your focus points. Okay, ready, set, and go. Eight 
18, 19, 20. Those still feel good. Work. But you can feel all those solid sets. So good. All right. On our backs. This time, lie down. Both knees in. And then lift the legs straight up. Pull back towards you. And then roll it down. Okay, good feedback right there. What's going on? Each side of your spinal column. My right side, definitely more raised than my left. So, I'm not surprised. It's working a little harder, it's stronger. So, I wanna work on rolling that side later. Here we go. Reach, reach, reach. One. Low back has to stay in the ground. Four. Laser focused. Ten. All right, let's roll it up. <clears throat> Flip it over and stretch those forearms. I'm going to do two sets of ten this round. My forearms are definitely feeling better than last time. That set from Tuesday also, uh, our pull-up day, my forearms did way better that day also. So fun to see how things are progressing, working, recovering. All right, single side swings. Here we go. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Almost lost it. Two, three, Last two. Nineteen, twenty. Oh, really have to. I really have to watch my shoulder blade pack. Keep that in. All right. Let's finish this puppy up. Phew. <coughs> Triceps. Split stance or set stance. Elbow squeeze in. One. I do not want to allow my body to rock forward and back at least as much as possible. Seven. Eight, 
nine. Set that pelvis. Elbows squeeze in. And ten. All right. Let's get our run. Ten seconds. Ten. Nice job. All right. Lie on your backs. We're gonna do some hamstring stretches and twists. Well done. Bring that right leg up. Check in with your pelvis and your hips and your low back. Keep that low back on the ground. You can always use a wall to help with support. Depending on how tight you are, you can get your hips close to the wall and then just set that heel on the wall. Bend your knee down towards your armpit. You can pull behind your thigh or you can pull on your strap or foot. Now, <clears throat> offer resistance and then push back up, out, and straighten. That little maneuver is better done with a partner, but still good. Okay, extend your left leg long. Place your hand inside the calf and then drop it over, putting your right arm out on the ground. Keep the back of your left, or I'm sorry, your right shoulder on the ground. Feel awesome. Feel strong, capable. Couple points. How to get a little bit more drive and determination to finish. Okay. Bend your knee. Tuck it in, put your foot on the ground, just open your knee out to the side. You guys, that was day 60. <clears throat> Fantastic work. All right, left side. Let's see how it's different. Ooh, that's different. Keep that low back pushed into the ground. Fantastic work. It was definitely fun to do repeat workouts sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I was thinking, I do not want to do this one again. It's tough. It's also, I think for me, <clears throat> so healthy to reiterate. And I hope that you were able to see this too. Okay, tuck that knee in. Put tension. And then push against. Uh, for me to see just how different a set was compared or based on like what else I had going on. I talked about this a couple times, but how I ate, how I slept. Okay, extend that right leg, cross that straight left leg over. Take your breaths. All right, bring it back in. 
put that foot on the ground and then let the leg drop out. Oh, nice, nice job. I would love it if you reach out to me. It doesn't matter if this is an eight-year-old program. <laughs> uh, whenever you're doing it, <clears throat> uh, now or later, but I would love it if you could reach out and let me know what routines you implemented, uh, what you liked about the session, what you didn't like. Um, I do really, really, really appreciate. I grab that back left hip flexor. That's my side. Always get that. What you appreciated, what was tough, what you didn't appreciate. Always remember that if a certain series isn't really connecting with you, but you had another one that you loved, go back and just spot grab, get your favorites, whatever those are. You have to be motivated. And if you hate what you're doing, you're not going to be motivated. So go back and choose your favorites at any time. Otherwise, I will see you here very soon for day one of our new series. Can't wait.